And that was something that I just kind of was fooling around with a long time ago, actually. And um, I don't do a lot of two-handed tapping because I'm not very good at it. But two of our songs that we have, um, the two-handed tapping bass line that I've written, um, is pretty much the, the main focal point of the song. But it brings a different element to the song and to the music where you're adding a lot of uh, different type of melodies and, and chords intertwining with one another. And I think it's, it's cool when you can do a little bit of bass tapping and, and bring out a, a different side of the bass uh, that people don't really see and aren't familiar with. Um, some of the bands that like I mentioned in the first segment with like Metallica and Maiden um, and playing um, My Friend of Misery, the one song that really kind of got me was Orion and the middle section, the, the melodic part of it that Cliff wrote. And I think it was, when I first heard it, it I never really heard bass uh, being played that way. You know, I never, it was just happened to hear that song was one of the first metal songs I, I listened to and I just heard that bass come out and it just, there was something about it. I don't know what it was, but it sounded it sounded pretty. But it, it was had a really cool edge to it. And uh, what I did was, you know, I went out and bought the tab books for Master of Puppets and, and tried learning that and tried playing it over and over along with the CD. And um, was able to a little bit. But I'm going to play it now. And actually, Mario is going to going to play guitar. We're going to just play a few measures of it just to kind of hear how the bass and the guitar contrast each other and show what the bass is playing underneath the guitar, playing that melody, that rhythm, and and, and just showing, um, like I said, another side of, of the bass, you know, that, the melodic side of it that a lot of people don't really know about. and everything and it's just a different element to the bass you know it doesn't always have to be straight eighth notes it doesn't have to be drop tuning and trying to be as heavy or, or just laying just a, uh, a typical kind of uh, groove you know I mean progressive style of, of rock progressive style of playing especially with bass is a little bit different you know and another element to it is that melodic uh, side of it and I think with the bass being such a it's a diverse instrument and an instrument that has been explored throughout the years with such great bass players, um, Victor Wooten and um, and Flea and with Entwistle, you know, going there and even so, a lot of just so many so many different bass players can't even name all of them, but they've done so much with the bass, uh, experimenting, and I think adding that uh, melodic side of it is it's cool, and I think a lot of people just don't know about it. So hopefully, some of the stuff that was played here now. Um, give you a little bit of better idea and understanding of, of what the bass can do and, and different things and there's always you know experimenting with with uh, with different things if you're you know listening to uh, to something and it sounds cool you know try figuring it out on the bass and try figuring it out up here and and, and listen to it even if it's a guitar part you know try and, and just mimic it and then I'll give you an idea down the road to maybe where you can write something that's kind of got a cool melodic type feel to it so in conclusion, and I know it's a very brief segment, um, I just wanted to show you some examples of the melodic side of the bass guitar, a side that a lot of people don't know about. And with bass and melody, you can do so many different things. You can play the, the, 
the three strings, like the intro for My Friend of Misery. Or you can just play single notes and do a melody. Or you can do a two-handed tapping approach. So that was basically uh, in the short segment showing a little bit of the melodic side of the bass guitar. And there's so many different things that you can do with this instrument. You just explore it and you try and learn from the bass players that uh, have been around for quite some time, whether it's a jazz bass player, whether it's guys like Victor Wooten or John Patitucci, um, or if it's guys like Cliff Burton or Steve Harris. You know, there's so much to learn, so many different styles, and you'd be surprised that what the bass can do if you really uh, find some of these bass players that are out there and I've seen I've seen quite a few I cannot uh, duplicate what they do and I'll let let them take care of it but um, bass and melody are, are two things that a lot of people don't know about and I think that uh, needs to be a little bit more melodic bass playing out there so um, anyway Mario thank you very much hope I didn't ramble on too much probably did but uh, you know maybe next time uh, come around and Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.